Welcome. What we're gonna do is introduce the cutting board slash plaque slash cribbage board splash sign i mean anything that you can think of they're all done the exact same way same process same everything that we want you to learn that's what we're going to show you today is just an introduction to this now in your packet you will find a step step-by-step -step direction sheet that'll have like step one this will be the first demonstration the second demonstration and we're gonna have six demonstrations that go along with this video. So this sheet you're gonna need for to follow step by step because the first time doing it, I give you the name of the saw and the process, saw, process, saw, process, all the way through this to help you out on this first project. In your project packet, you will find a bill of material sheet and we'll have a separate demonstration on how to fill that out. We're going to have thumbnail drawing sheet that you have and we will have a separate demonstration to show you how to fill this out. Now in our design process we need we have four steps. Understand the problem we're going to just kind of give you a bunch of examples of what you can do for a project on this one. Know the minimums and maximums. We'll be doing this one and this one on our next demonstration. And this will be a separate demonstration also. So let's get right to what you can pick and choose for a project for this. It's open-ended for you to pick anything that you want for the most part. Now, here is a long fish board that we can put and we can cut angles on this. This is a long fish board for filleting fish. Now, you could pick this project if you choose to. Another option is if you're into hunting, we could make this is for a turkey beard. All right, an example of what this would look like you can put a fan in there you can put a turkey beards on there you can put your spurs on there you could make this if turkey hunting is kind of your thing another option is to make like a fake feather like this one we could do some wood burning on this we can make this really nice and how that would work is this is what i designed for my own personal use is what we do is put our turkey beards on this and we put our spurs on this string on the side of this. So this is something that if you're also into turkey hunting, you could do this. We signify this one is red for my son, green for me. <coughs> and I already have one of these whole things is full of beards over time. So that's one way of you can share with your dad, mom, brother, sister, whatever. You can put your beards on here and kind of see what's going on. So we talked about a fish board. We talked about a turkey boards. We've talked. Now we can get into actual cutting boards. Here is a style. This is more of a pizza paddle style that you could pick and choose. Right now, this is just a tracing pattern for you to use. You could do something like this, like a Wisconsin. You can make this into a cutting board. You can do lots of different things with this one. The point is, can you design pretty much any shape and style that you want? Absolutely. I have a bunch of these patterns that you can feel, you can trace, and you can use as you, um, if you would like to do that. You could do a caricature one, like this one, a football. This one you could serve like a chunk of sausage, some cheese on it for like a Packer game. Here is more of a, a just a rectangular square style for those of you that like ice shacks or something like that. You just want a smaller, narrower cutting board. With this one right here, instead of making one, you can make two of these and still fall under the, the limit for the amount of wood that you can use. Here's more of a character one is a pig style. 
All right, and you could do a cow, you can do all kinds of different things if you choose to. Here is more of a paddle style like this. You could do this. It's the same thing, just making a little character if you want. You know, a little handle on this one. We could drill a hole in here if you choose to. We could make a variety of things with this right here. This is the standard style. This is the size of the wood, 12 by 17, that I am going to make throughout our demonstration. All right? This is the style that I'm going to make. Now, we can put a handle in here for a grip handle. We can do other things with this, too. So those are some of, the, like, the cutting boards versus hunting stuff. Here is some more hunting stuff. Here it is for like a deer horn. Here is if you shot a deer with an arrow and you want to mount the horns on there. I know these are just tracing patterns, but you could do that. Here is oak wood that you have on here. This is different than the other woods. Here's a different style. And here's the style right here. These are all different horn for mounting horns and stuff onto there for you to use. Now another, another thing that we could do, instead of doing like a cutting board or um, a fishing or some kind of application for hunting, you can make a cribbage board. We have these metal templates that are available for you to use and we can punch right through there and you can make a cribbage board, all right? Then we can drill some stuff in the sides to show you how we can put the pegs inside there and stuff. So you can make a cribbage board if you chose to. Now the different kind of cribbage boards we have is we have like a fish one that you could make. We have a different style fish one that you can make. We have one like this, a little different. And we have a duck one that we can put on and it'll be, you know, the duck head will stand straight up, a cribbage board that you could do. Now, totally different than a cribbage board versus a cutting rack or a cutting board, excuse me, versus a deer plaque or turkey things. What you can do is a combination. If you take a look here, this right here, we put the grooves in to represent like the field marking, you know, the yardage and stuff. You can wood burn on here and this could be your serving side. Then if we flip it over, it is a plane. So you could cut your vegetables up, sausage, things like that. You could cut up on this side. Then you could actually serve them on this side. So not only can you make a cutting board, you could also make like a serving board out of this. You can make, you could take and do this to here to this. You can actually make a sign and not use it for a cutting board. We can do some wood burning on here. We even have options of laser. If we talk to Miss Heisey, she's in charge of laser. She knows how to use that. We could uh, laser some images on here so it can be used as more of a sign board versus a cutting board or any of those other applications that we talked about. Now, here is the kinds of woods we're going to use. Hard maple. Hard maple is one is one of the woods we have oak and we have popple that you're going to use these are your only three options for this but let me explain the properties of this if you're going to make any kind of board that's going to have any kind of food served on it you have to use hard maple it's a very close cell wood and very dense wood that allow you to cut on it without the juices soaking in so much on the wood itself so if you are going to make any kind of cutting board or cut any kind of food on there, you have to choose hard maple. Now oak, all right, it shows the different stains on there. Oak wood is not a cutting board, it's too open cell and you can actually see some of the open cells on this one. This would not 
be used for a cutting board. This will be used more for the deer plaques and all that kind of stuff like that. You could use it for anything but a cutting board. Now, oak has little different properties, as you can see. It has little, you're used to seeing a lot of oak around for trim and everything else. This is more of a furniture grade, kind of like the deer plaque kind of look. Now we also have popple for you to use. Popple is not to be used for a cutting board, but it could be used for any one of those other kind of objects that we're doing. Is popple is a softer wood, but it's a very dense wood, hard wood, but yet softer than these other two options. So you're gonna have to pick the wood that you choose to meet your needs for your particular project. If you have any questions on those, feel free to ask.